Hey guys, Kedrick's here, and we're back for another Persona 5 Let's Play. This is uh, literally the next day. I just got home from work. I probably should have finished chewing what was in my mouth before I pushed record. Alright. Let's skip the intro. Oh, there's Morgana, and there's everyone else. I assume those are all the other Persona users. I see On. She's easy to pick, to pick out. Ryuji, and of course, there's me in the center. I can't tell who the others are. I can see Morgana just still laying on the ground, so... Load game, and we are going to pick up where we left off yesterday. I got three Cokes with me, so... That was allowed. Also got myself a bunch of snacks, so... It's evening, so it's time to sleep. Oh, got a text message. The thing on, on your phone was... Alright, I got a... Full screen. There we go. Eyeball icon, right? That's right. Now, I want to check something. Is there something wrong with my settings? It looks a little blurry, or blurrier than usual. No, 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 nothing. Uh, properties. Give me just one second, guys. No? Sharpness is at its max. Don't know what that was all about. Maybe it's just where I've been away from it for a while. Oh, it's on his phone now, too? Seems like it, yeah. Can't really ditch school, otherwise I'm pretty much in trouble. The metaverse? Is that what we're calling it? Sleep. I got myself a bunch of little snacks right here. And for a good f buddy of mine who calls himself Fenrold, these are chocolate with peanut butter in them, so ha! Welcome Jiraiya to Sensei! The Velvet Room. Velvet Room? I thought about resuming our previous conversation tonight. That is why I have summoned you. What are your thoughts? Are you becoming accustomed to this place? Ah, glad to hear it. It seems you have nerves of steel. Your rehabilitation determines if ruin can be stopped. Yet, such a feat cannot be done by you alone. But today, you entered a partnership with someone who awoke to the same power, haven't you? Yep. Involving yourself with others is an important foundation for your recovery. You've done well. That said, I am not advising the formation of superficial relationships. It must not be a frivolity, but a ring of those who would, by morals or faith, lend you their strength. In other words, they are bonds with those who have been robbed of their places to belong. The expansion of said ring will, in return, help you mature as well. Personas are the strength of heart. The stronger the bonds that surround you, the more power your personas will gain. There are countless people in the city who have talents that a weakling like you doesn't. You better rack that noggin of yours and get them on your side. We'll change that into power. The confidants, okay.
Indeed, you should be prepared to use even myself, or your ambitions will not come to fruition. <laughs> we have a deal then. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. Okay, so is this like the Igor one? I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. The prison master is now confidant, the fool. So I can talk my way out of situations now. That might be interesting. Well, you will understand it all in due time. Continue devoting yourself to your rehabilitation. Now this conversation's over. Get lost, inmate. I'm not liking Caroline. I like Justine, though. <laughs> I can't do this. Oh, so it's uh, students versus the teachers. Uh, we used to have those all the time back in my school. Like, we would set the basketball team up against the teacher team. And my best friend made the oh-so-smart choice to bet on our student team. Uh, and I would bet on the teachers. I won the bet, so I won the money. Ha-ha-ha-ha-ha. <laughs> It was only like five dollars, but still, five dollars is five dollars, man. I mean, that's still more money. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna get your face smashed. By the way, homemade, like, pretzels, like... Okay, quiet you know, the uh, covered ones. Made these ones at home. Oh, cutscene! That's for you, Kamashita. Resume the map. 
match. Oh, that arrogant asshole. So where are you searching? Uh. Wow, quick travel, sweet. So that approach didn't work. So, what floor am I on? Okay, so, 3C. So, can I punch these people up? Try to go. I don't get it. How are these all first years? Okay, this is the roof. Can't go to the roof.
Okay, I didn't even notice the, num the numbers that were on top of the doors. Okay, uh... 3D... Oh wait, that's 1E. What the- oh, so wait. Are they on floor 1? As if, is this guy secretly Zigbar? Okay, back up to floor three. Okay, so I believe we said 1B, so... Oh, here you are! Yes. All right, to the courtyard. Can I talk to you for a sec? It'll be quick. Anyway, what's with you? Like how you were late the other day was a lie and all? There's that weird rumor about you, too. What do you want with him? Right back at you. You're not even in our class. We just happen to get to know each other. What are you planning on doing to Mr. Kamoshida? Huh? I see. I get ya. You're all buddy-buddy with Kamoshida after all. This has nothing to do with you, Sakamoto. If you found out what he's been doing behind your back, you dump him right away. Behind my back? Oh. What's that supposed to mean? You wouldn't get it. Anyway, people are already talking about you two. Ooh, people are talking. I don't care. I don't know what you're trying to pull, but no one's gonna help you. I'm warning you, just in case. That's all. Okay, so On is pretty cool. She's nice. Why she gotta be so I do like her voice actress. Ah, 
we just went to the same middle school. Anyways, that's not what we're here to talk about. <sighs> I had no luck on my end. What about you? Did anything like someone's name turn up? Yep. Huh? Special coaching, huh? Yep. True. I always see the guy covered in bruises. Let's go talk to him before he leaves then. Mishima, is that the kid that like Oh, it is him! Got a second? Sakamoto? <laughs> and you too. Come on, we just want to chat. Kamoshida's been coaching you, huh? You sure it's not just physical abuse? Certainly not. What are you talking all polite for? Anyways, we saw him spike you today, right in the face. That was just because I'm not good at the sport. Still, that doesn't explain all the other bruises you've got. He's got a point. They're from practice. Is he forcing you to keep quiet? That's... What's going on here? Mishima, isn't it time for practice? Uh, I'm not feeling well today. What? Maybe you're better off quitting then. Oh, you phenomenal douchebag. Seriously, can I kick his ass? I want to kick... You're never going to improve that crappy form unless you show up to practice. Oh, that's it! That is it. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. Oh. I don't know what it is. This guy just... Ah! I need my headphones. Where are my headphones? And my controller's way over there, too. Fuck. Didn't you hear? He ain't feeling well. Well, Mishima, are you coming to practice or not? I'll go. As for you, any more trouble and you'll be gone from the school for sure. I'm shaking, like my hands are shaking right now. Bastard. Same goes for you. Fine. Let's be a little patronizing. Just don't get in the way of my practice. All these unsettling rumors are making the students anxious after all. That's your own goddamn fault. This won't get us anywhere. Let's go, Mishima. Shujin Academy is a place where those with aspirations come to learn. Unworthy students like yourselves don't have any right to be here. This guy. Oh, this guy. This freaking guy. Let's go, Kamashita. Just you and me. You and me. Come on, let's go. I'm arguing with a fictional character. I just want to point that out. Get with the program. Yes, sir. That asshole. He's gonna pay for this. There's no point. Huh? Proving that he's physically abusing us is meaningless. Everybody knows. The principal, our parents. They all know, and they all keep quiet about it. This has got to be a joke. Don't be a pain. You don't understand what I'm going through. Shouldn't you, of all people, know that nothing's going to help? This is... this is far from over. I'll try one more time to persuade the other guys. 
That's all I can do. Why am I getting so angry? Let's head downstairs. See if there is there anything we can do. Why is it not allowing me to go upstairs? Okay. Let's do it. All right. This feels a little too short, so I don't think we're gonna. Yeah, it's only been 25 minutes. We'll keep going. Go to the bed. Go to bed. Oh, we got a text! Doesn't make any damn sense. Man, the world's a cruel place. Because volleyball, they're afraid of Kamashina. They don't care it's happening. Part of me thinks that they don't care. Who are you talking about? Yeah, I'm curious. Didn't spend any time as the thief, so okay. Thursday. Volleyball? Uh-huh. Whoa! Bruise above your eye. Y yeah. Dude, that is net Okay, yeah. Where's my bat? Actually bought myself in the head with it. Damn. That actually hurt a little bit, but even so. Man, let's go, Kamashita. You and me. No lie, guys, that actually does kind of hurt. Ow, son of a bitch. <laughs> Luckily, I got a hard head, so. Ow! <laughs> I'm not kidding. Oh, that's gonna sting for a while. Okay. Are you sure you're not pushing yourself too hard? I'm okay. Volleyball's the only thing I can do right. Shouldn't you take that? It's probably just my part-time job, I think. I should get going. 
Shiho. Um, are you sure you're okay? Uh huh. Yes. T Today won't work. I'm. I'm not feeling so good. Sorry. Bye. Hey, wasn't that Takamaki? Rumor has it she's dating Kamashita. Seriously? I heard people saw them in his car together. You know, she seems pretty easy, huh? You think I'd have a chance to? Come on, dude. You can't go after Kamashita's bitch. I say that, but no, they do bother me because it just makes me want to just, you know. Friendship is forming. Damn it. What the hell? <sighs> is that what it looks like? All of them kept saying the same shit Mishima was talking about. Kamoshida had to have told them something. At this rate, looks like we'll have to go to him directly. Yeah, I don't think there's any point in that. I know. But seriously, isn't there something we can do? No way I'm gonna give in like this. Can you think of anything? Ooh. I'm liking the sneak attack one. Calling the cops. Cops and adults here, I don't trust them. I don't trust them. They all suck. So, yeah. It'd be fine if we could do it without getting caught, but if we did, we'd be seriously done for. Wear a mask. You got any other ideas? <laughs> oh, that'd be fine if we you got any other. I really can't. Ah. Uh. So you want to tell them about the castle? They'd never believe us. <sighs> Have any other ideas? What do we do? Let's punish the king. Okay, thank the you. King? You mean that other world's Kamoshida? I didn't think of that, but it could actually Is affect them. To... I... Oh. that I locked down that I didn't have my chair locked down. I didn't see that coming. That voice. Is that Oh, didn't mean to do that. How dare you up and leaving me the other day. The cat's talking? <laughs> I am not a cat. This is just what happened when I came to this world. It was a lot of trouble finding you two. Wait, you came to our world? Does that mean you've got a phone? <laughs> Why is this so funny? You don't need one when you're at my level. A 
I did get pretty lost making my escape, though. That aside, why can you talk? You're a cat! How should I know? Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's magic. <laughs> I think we've both gone off the deep end. <laughs> you guys are having a rough time of this, hmm. I heard you mention something about witnesses. Oh, shut up! You know, I could tell you a thing or two about what to do about Kamashita. You were pretty close just a moment ago. God, that condescending attitude. This thing's gotta be Morgana. <laughs> you were still doubting me? <laughs> Quiet down! Uh, we really have to be looking for a cat in a busy time like this? Uh-oh. I just heard a meow somewhere near here. Didn't you hear it? <sighs> Make sure you check every nook and cranny around. Oh, our cat's not allowed on campus. Meow? Does that mean only us two can understand what you're saying? Looks like it. What the hell's going on? Your persona users. Anyways, what you were talking about earlier, is it for real? You're quite the skeptic for being an idiot. Hey, tell us more. Then again, this probably ain't the best place. Here, stick it in your bag for now. It's just small enough to fit. Hey, how dare you treat me like... <laughs> Don't be so rough with me. Enough of that. You said you know how we can do something about Kamoshida, right? It has to do with what this guy was talking about earlier. You'll need to attack his castle. What do you mean? That castle is how Kamoshida views this school. He doesn't realize what happens in there, but it's deeply connected to the depths of his heart. Thus, if the castle disappears, it would naturally impact the real Kamoshida. That makes what sense. Happen? A palace is a manifestation of a person's distorted desires. So, if that castle were no more... Mm. Precisely. You sure pick up things fast. That's pretty much logic. Good? But is that really getting back at him? Erasing a palace essentially means forcing the owner to have a change of heart. However, even though their warped wants disappear, the crimes they committed remain. Kamoshida will become unable to bear the weight of those crimes. And he'll confess them himself. Huh. You for real? That's possible? So, justice. Okay. And I'm all for it. Alice will no longer exist. He'll forget what we did there as well. Not only will we be able to bring Kamashita down, but there won't even be a trace of our involvement. I'm liking this plan. It's amazing. You are one incredible cat. True. Except for the cat part. So, how do we get rid of the palace? By stealing the treasure held within. Stealing? Well, they are thieves. I'll tell you more once you agree to go ahead with this. It's my most valuable secret plan, after all. If you want to help me out, I'll gladly teach you. What's your call? Our luck's running dry looking for witnesses. Guess we have no choice but to go along. Good. Oh, right. There's one more thing I should tell you. If we erase a palace, there is no doubt that the person's distorted desires will be erased as well. So, we gotta make sure- But <clears throat> desires are what we all need in order to survive. So, I'm assuming that we need to be sure to get out before we destroy the palace. The will to sleep, eat, fall in love, those sorts of things. What are you getting at? If all of those yearnings were to vanish, they'd be no different than someone who is shut down entirely. They may even die if they're not given proper care. So... They might die! Will you listen to everything I have to say first? Would their death be our fault? Aren't you determined enough to face those kinds of risks? Hey, what do you think?
Ha. I mean, if he has a change of heart, I don't really want to kill him, but... The way he is now, I mean... You know what? No, he chose to be like this. So, I'm interested. For real? Sheesh. I come all this way and this is what I get. It's not like anyone will ever find out. That's not the point. If we just go around secretly doing whatever we want, we'd be no better than that effing Kamoshida. <sighs> Isn't this your only option? I'll come back later. Make sure you've made your decision by then. Man, we're getting all worked up for nothing. Damn it. I'll try and see if I can figure out another way. Come on, let's get out of here. Huh. Oh, let me guess. Yep. Back to the station. Alright. Ride the train. Oh, so I can't shop yet? Okay. Well, at least I can't shop there. Uh... Aww. I'm trying to explore the rest of the area. Keep going, keep going. It's on. Can you please give it a rest. I told you I'm not feeling up to it. Wait, what? That's not what you promised. And you call yourself a teacher? This has nothing to do with Shiho. Uh, uh. Okay. Jeez. Starting position. Wait, were you listening? Not on purpose. Haven't you heard of privacy? Sorry. Uh, no, I was out of line. Sorry. So, how much did you hear? Shio. It's 
nothing at all. Nothing. You're a bad liar. Why are people such bad liars, especially in stuff like anime? Okay, let's see. Pursue on. Okay, uh... Crap, I have no idea where she went. She go down here? Guess not. Okay, um... I just came from there, so... She's probably at that underground mall. There you are. Ah, come on. Don't have time for this. Oh, there she is. supposed to understand him just just accept him be a friend I don't have anything to talk about with you mm-hmm sure you don't it was just an argument thank you very much you've heard the rumors haven't you about mr. Kamoshida Everyone says we're getting it on. But that's so not true. And that was him on the other line. I avoided giving him my number for the longest time. He told me to go to his place after this. You know what it means. If I turn him down, he said he'd take my friend off as a regular on the team. I've been telling myself this is all for Shiho's sake. Whoa. I can't take it anymore. Uh, uh. I've had enough of this. I hate him. But still, Shiho's my best friend. She's all I have left in that sorry excuse of a school. Tell me, what should I do? <laughs> sorry, I shouldn't have asked. It's not your problem. Well, I'm making it my problem, so deal with it. Am I? Oh my god, I'm actually caring for this for these characters now. What am I saying? This is really good storytelling. I barely even talked to you before. Might be right. You're so weird. Usually everyone just ignores me. Are you really a bad person, as the rumor says? You just don't seem like it. I'm bad to the bone. <laughs> Is that supposed to be a joke? Kinda. I kinda had a feeling they were all just exaggerations. You seemed lonely. Almost like you didn't belong anywhere. You're the same in that regard. Maybe that's why it was so easy for me to talk to you. Is there really no way for me to help Shio? I wish he'd just change his mind. Like, forget about me and everything. if something like that would ever happen. That's too convenient. <laughs> I wasn't asking for a serious response. 
But Sorry. I do feel a bit better now. I'm gonna head home. Yay! I made a friend! Don't tell anyone what I told you, okay? I'll try and think of a way to persuade Komoshida. Well, thanks. Yay, I made a friend! I make friends with blondes really easily, it seems. Zoe, are you leaving? What is it? Mr. Kamashita's asking for you. Oh, screw him! He you know what? You know what? Seriously, seriously. You know what they call me at work? They call me Batman, okay? I'm about to go full on Batman on Kamashita. Why am I getting so angry? He's in the PE faculty office. What did he say? I don't know. Well, I have to go. On. <laughs> answer it. No, no, answer. Come on. I actually made a friend. Oh. Hey. Dude, come on, he's a teenager. At least he's making friends. That should mean that he's going to make a lot less trouble for you. Okay, I'm kind of in the same boat as the Ryuji. I want to beat the ever-living shit out of this guy, but I don't want to kill him. I don't sleep yet. I've got to save the game. I just now realized that. <clears throat> Let's do it. Okay, so it's been 54 minutes, a little over, since I started this. So we're going to end it right here because I don't want to make these episodes too long. But. I'm enjoying this. I am j hang on, let me mute this. So, I'm genuinely enjoying this, and I didn't think I would f start to feel so attached to these characters, uh, but I am. I am really enjoying this. I'm enjoying the characters, I'm enjoying the music, the story. Uh, I'm enjoying the fact that I now have someone that I want to... Ah! <laughs> and, uh, I do like the turn-based combat. Uh, the turn-based combat, that's kind of a bonus for me. The story is what's grabbing my attention right now. And I know that there are, like, multiple endings to this. So, and I like multiple endings.
So th that's pretty cool. I think I'm going to really enjoy that. So anyway, uh, that's it for this episode, you guys. And I think I already know what I'm going to name the title for this one. But uh, I might change it up. I don't know. So let me know what you guys thought in the comment section down below. I am deeply enjoying Persona. And it may be top, uh, jumping into one of my top 20s, like my top 20 favorite games. And I don't know, I'm just really, really enjoying it. So anyway, I've been Kevin Stories, people. Hit that like button and smash that subscribe button as hard as you can. Have an awesome day, people. Peace out, and I will catch you all later.